Hey foodies, this is Jose. I'm here at San Luis Taqueria and Cantina. We're here to try some modern Latin American cuisine. So let's go ahead and go inside and see what they got for us. All right, so we came here a couple of weeks ago and just fell in love with the atmosphere and the cuisine. And we just had to come back to try some of this food. Hi guys, my name is Luis. I am co-owner of San Luis Second in Cantina. I own this place with my dad and it is family run. So it was always my dad's dream to open a restaurant and um, he asked if I would open one with him and I said yes. And so far I've enjoyed the experience. Our goal is to serve authentic Mexican food in a nice, comfortable, modern environment. And so thus San Luis Second in Cantina was born. We also enjoy serving fun and festive cocktails depending on the occasion or holiday like Christmas or Valentine's Day. A popular day that we have is Taco Tuesday. We have $3 tacos and we have $5 handshake and margaritas. So we're here with their top four dishes at San Luis Taqueria and Cantina. And I gotta say, it just all looks vibrant and beautiful. I can't wait to try it all. We've got here the carne asada plate, which you can see it's a pretty sizable steak. It comes with the traditional like Latin sides of rice, beans, and this little salad mix. Uh, this is of course some tortillas. I don't know if they're made from scratch or not, but I guess we're gonna find out. We have one of my favorite Mexican things to eat. It's called a torta. This is made with chorizo, so it's a torta de chorizo. And if you've never had a torta, you're doing yourself uh, an injustice. Make sure to just find the closest torta shop, go eat one, and you'll thank me later. I promise you will not regret it. Of course, we've got tacos. You can't have Mexican food or Latin American food without some amazing, delicious tacos. Uh, I don't know what we have here. It looks like we got chorizo, we've got chicken, and some barbacoa. So like, yeah, just so ready to dig right into this. It's gonna be amazing. And then we've got here, uh, green enchiladas. Uh, you know, enchiladas are great. I love them. They're just, uh, it's a weird way to explain what they are. They're kind of like baked tacos, but like baked inside of like a, in this case, like a green salsa verde. So it's just gonna be amazing. I'm sure I can like already feel my mouth kind of like salivating, just waiting to try some of this stuff. And of course, uh, I know that we had a, an event here a couple weeks ago and uh, you know, a lot of the people had some of their very fancy, very vibrant looking drinks. So make sure that if you're in the mood for a creative cocktail to come by and try them out. These look just so delicious. I'm not even sure what this is, but it does taste good. So yeah, let's, let's give it a shot. Let's taste this food and see what it's all about. This is really good. So of course, you know, they do a pretty good job on the steak. Something that people uh, might want to shy away from if you're not into spicy food is this grilled jalapeno, or I guess it's fried. They fry a jalapeno and it just, when, when you fry a jalapeno, it just accents its spice and kind of kicks it up an extra notch. This stuff is pretty spicy, but you know, everyone who knows me knows I love spicy food. So uh, this is nothing for me, but 
If you're for the faint of heart, maybe don't do what I just did. Now, this plate comes with some fresh guacamole and they do it pretty well here. They keep it pretty traditional, so it's like nice and fresh, nothing too crazy, but sometimes simplicity is really the best part of eating at a Mexican restaurant or any Latin restaurant. If they just stick to the traditional stuff, that's really all they need to do to be great. Next on our uh, taste test here, we've got our enchiladas verdes, which is just a green enchilada. I know you can't really see it with all this lettuce on top of it. In two seconds, I'll tell you exactly what I think. So this is definitely actually a cheese enchilada. I was mistaken, it's not chicken. Cheese enchiladas, still great. I like me some good cheese and enchiladas with the salsa there to just really make it pop. Very, very good cheese enchiladas. Uh, yeah, definitely worth coming down and give it a shot. Round three, tacos. Again, it's a staple in Mexican culture, tacos. If you go to a Mexican restaurant and you don't order tacos, I'm gonna think something's wrong with you, obviously. So, we've got three different kind. This looks like just a steak taco. This looks like chorizo. And this looks like chicken. So, I'm gonna, obviously I've had tacos before, if anyone, you know, if you can just assume. I'm gonna go ahead and just, you know, Make sure to squeeze some lime into this. And I'm gonna dig right into the chorizo taco because that is just actually my favorite one. Yeah, you can tell this is gonna be delicious. It just looks like it's packed with flavor. Mm. Mm. So I had to take a quick break because this was just so good. I wanted to keep eating it, but just to give you some information, it's flavorful, it's juicy, the squeeze of lime really just accents it and just kicks it up a notch. Really love the pickled, you can see it kind of briefly a little bit here, the pickled onion. It's a really, really cool touch. You know, traditionally tacos are made with this white onion and some cilantro on it, and that's like a traditional taco, but this really changes it to some like crazy degree. It really adds a really cool, level of depth that you don't normally get from traditional Mexican tacos. So worth coming in, definitely come in and try it. The pickled onion really makes it great. You all heard me talk about it earlier. It is time for the main event, in my opinion. My favorite, favorite sandwich ever in existence. It's called a torta. This one is a torta de chorizo, and I am just all for it. For those of you who are uninitiated, this is basically just like a, a sub sandwich that's made in a different kind of way. You can see here it has some lettuce, tomatoes, it's got some delicious Mexican cheese, some pickled jalapenos, and there's usually some kind of like a sauce or something that accompanies it. This stuff, just gold. And like I have had probably easily a few hundred thousand tortas in my life. I've been around for a while, but I've been eating tortas like since I was very young. And this, is fantastic. The best part about this is this bread. You can see here, so they get this bread fresh daily and unlike other tortas, it's not soggy, it's not crispy, it doesn't cut the roof of your mouth. This is perfectly soft. This is the best bite you will have when you come into this place, guaranteed. So I'm gonna give it a shot. I already know that I like it. You're just gonna watch me enjoy it. So again, just to give you a, a good shot of this, and like I said, I'm just so excited to try this. You're really just gonna watch me enjoy something that I just enjoy eating. Mm. I'm gonna take one more bite, just to make sure. Just to make sure. So obviously these are delicious. This is just fantastic. There's just something about pickled jalapenos when you throw it into a sandwich. Just the vinegar way that it just kind of adds on to the already amazing sandwich. Just great. If you come down to San Luis Taqueria and Cantina, make sure to try the tortas, make sure to try the tacos for sure. But again, tortas is where it's at. So obviously I enjoy the food here, it's fantastic, but you gotta come down and try it for yourself. They're off of Peachtree Industrial Boulevard. They are open every day of the week from 10 to 10, except for the weekends, they, they stay open until 11 o'clock. Again, you gotta come down and to give it a shot. It is worth the drive. And that's everything from Georgia Foodies. Make sure to like and subscribe. We'll be trying to get more content like this out so that you can enjoy. And yeah, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to reach out to us.